How's it going everyone? It's your boy Mikey Stark, aka Michael, and welcome to the next episode of Geeky TV. Uh, today, this week is Shipping's Week, so basically what that means is we will be discussing about our favorite couples in TV shows, movies, games, comic books, anime, etc. And some potential ones that we wish would happen, but for some reason they either still haven't happened or they just never will unfortunately happen at all. So with that being said, I have six couples that I admire and that I honestly, they're, they're, they're very good. I love them anyway, they're my personal favorite and I do hope the best of them for some of them who are uh, going to have different episodes or movies or whatever in the future. So at number one, we have Deadpool and Vanessa. So the reason I chose Vanessa and Deadpool is because I absolutely love the Deadpool movie, first of all. I'm a huge, I really love, I, I would, I don't want to say I'm a humongous Deadpool fan because I haven't read many of his comics, I've only read a few, but I really love the movies and the reason I chose them too is because they are perfect for each other, they're funny, they're they're both dirty minded and they're actually in a in a very Deadpool way it makes sense for the two of them being together because they're both absolutely badass uh, I know Vanessa doesn't show much screen time in the movies but I really like her because not only because she's obviously a very good looking woman the actress who plays as her but also because the fact that she still loves Deadpool even though he looks like a uh, testicle with teeth and she's just um, she's just so supportive of him you know and stuff and she's I think she's one of the reasons definitely that he's Deadpool essentially in the movies like he he is himself so I'm really am you know I really am proud of this couple I love them to death and I wish more people would be a bit more like Vanessa honestly like she like you know just liking people for who they are for the character and not just for the way they, that they look and everything so yeah so that's my number one couple and number two is and number two is Batman and Catwoman so the reason I chose those two is because they're you know the term opposites attract well this is literally Batman and Catwoman right there we all know who Batman is we all know who Catwoman is um, so that's why I really like them too because Catwoman is basically a cat thief she obviously steals stuff and I'm not aware but I don't know if she actually killed anybody in the comics or in the games but uh, Batman is the exact opposite uh, he doesn't kill people obviously well it's kind of questionable nowadays but still regardless um, he tries his best to save people and everything and I just love their relationship together because like sometimes they're fighting they're kind of like play fighting and then other times it's just like they're actually working together and I absolutely love that the fact that sometimes they actually do literally just you know just they work together and as a team they make a great great force uh, with Catwoman's agility and speed and her own strength and same thing with Batman um, plus I really love their characters even when they're not playing as their you know vigilantes so to speak you know like I like Bruce Wayne when he's playing as Bruce Wayne and we and he's with Selena for example and he's just taking her out on a fancy dinner or whatever I love that and I really love them as well in Batman Arkham no, not Arkham, just uh, the Batman Telltale games. I really love them there as well. So, yeah, they're my number one favorite. They're my second favorite uh, couple of just, you know, things in general, like uh, comic books or games or whatever. So, yeah. Um, also, obviously, Catwoman. She's a very good looking lady. And, yeah, that's also another reason. So, <laughs> so uh, yeah, on to uh, number three. So, in the number three spot, we have Ryuko Matoi and Meiko something. I'm sorry, I cannot pronounce her name, it's in Japanese. So, these characters are from an anime called Kill a Kill. Highly recommend watching it. It's an amazing, badass, sexy anime. I absolutely love it to death. The characters are amazing. But the reason I really love these two is because Ryuko is, this, uh, Ryuko is the one with the black hair. And Meiko is the one with the brown hair 
so the reason I really love those two is because Ryuko is basically she's basically a tomboy a, a sexy badass tomboy girl whereas Mako is just you know she can be a bit of a girly girl but, but she has great character she's really lovable she's adorable uh, and in the series like the thing I've noticed like they do end up being together by the end of the series which is great I absolutely love that because ever since I saw the first episode I know that I just knew that the two of them were going to be together and I was just waiting for that moment but my god she like them two are so perfect for one another because there are so many times when Ryuko gets pissed off like really really proper pissed off but Mako comes in and actually calms her down she actually saves the day most of the time and she is also just at the near ending of the season both of them are just absolutely badass like you know Mako doesn't do much of the fighting but my god later on oh you have to go watch the anime it is brilliant but no uh, they're, they're, these two are perfect for each other and I absolutely love them I hope to God they make a season two someday. With them still being together, they're just amazing. But anyway, on to number four. So in the number four spot, we have Kieran the Assassin and Wolf Knight Artorius, aka the Abyss Walker. So the reason I really love those two is because, well, first of all, this is the type of couple that I wish actually did happen because they're from a game series called Dark Souls. And basically what happens is Kirin is the one who she's the girl she's the female assassin like I mentioned before uh, in the picture that you see there that's just a fan art picture though but um, basically what happens is Artorias the wolf knight he becomes consumed by the abyss this demon controls him and he loses his own mind so he's not essentially human anymore you fight him and you kill him when you come back after you kill him and you obtain his soul, Kirin will appear there who made a grave for him out of stones and she's just sitting there mourning for Artorias saying that he was a close friend. But realistically speaking she actually loved him and so then you have a choice whether to give her the soul or not to give her the soul so it's all up to you. But the reason them two are perfect for each other is because like you know it, it's... <laughs> I'd say it's one of those sad tales, honestly, like, because, like, you know, she loved him, he didn't know that she actually had feelings for him, and he'll never know because we killed him, and it's just so tragic and so sad because they would have been a perfect couple together because they're both badass warriors, uh, the four knight, one of the uh, four knights of Gwyn, and they would have been just so much perfect for one another, seriously. It's actually quite sad, honestly, uh, if you think about it, but... What are you gonna do? I guess that's what happens when you come uh, possessed by the abyss of some primordial, primordial demon or something. But anyway, on to the next couple, which is number five, I believe. So then, in the number five spot, we have Casca and Guts from the Berserk anime and manga. So, uh, why do I find these two perfect for each other? Well, for those of you who have seen the manga or not no, seen the manga, read the manga, or seen the anime, or whatever, you know why, but for those of you who don't, they've been through a lot of shit, like, <laughs> it's, it's really, really messed up, it really, really is, and I'm just happy because, like, Guts himself, he's been through so much bullshit, as a child, and as an adult, and stuff, and for Casca as well, like, they're just the two of them are just complete badasses and they're perfect for each other because they're so strong they can support each other and again it's just been through so much and in the anime you do see them to eventually hook up and you see just how much they love and care about each other and they also do have a bit of banter together as well which is nice and uh, yeah like I don't know what else to say honestly like it's short it's sweet and simple like I, I just love this couple because they're they're both badass. They can. They both support each other. They love each other, obviously. And again, they've just been. True, the both of them have been through so much bullshit, so they can sympathize with one another. So yeah, on to the last couple, which is number six. So in the number six spot, the final spot is Harley Quinn and Poison Ivy. My God, I love those two. 
and here's why okay let me just clear my throat sorry about this <coughs> so sorry about that so basically we all know how like when it comes to Harley Quinn a lot of people say oh Harley Quinn and the Joker they're a great couple together fair enough they are but there is one big difference Ivy is not abusive towards Harley the Joker was extremely abusive that was not a relationship if anything that was n that was just horrible what Harley had to go through with Poison Ivy and Harley it is beautiful it makes sense the two of them are amazingly perfect perfect together they treat each other with so much respect they both have fun all the time they're both hilarious to read about I'm hoping for them to be brought into the movie and to the game industry as well and I've read a few comics a few bips and bobs of the two of them hanging out or being together or just doing some something mischievous or something you know and plus I love the way that I think the two of them like I think she's a good influence I think Ivy's a good influence on Harley because Harley Quinn recently now in the comics at least maybe I don't know but um, I've noticed her in the movies and in the games she's not that bad anymore really uh, honestly ever since she's got the Joker out of her own life which is great um, I mean don't get me wrong I still like her to be a bit mischievous but not pure evil or anything like that you know so no, they're both perfect for each other they're a sweet adorable couple and you know I do hope that they'll be brought in into the movie industry or into the games even and not just the comics but yeah these have been my favorite couples in pop culture genres and stuff like that so hope you guys enjoyed this video please remember to like and subscribe and share and comment and i'll see you guys next time have a good one